Jabadu? Okay, okay. Check it out. I just got home, and I came from somewhere else, and I got a package in the mail. Check it out. And it says on it, solarpanelstore.com. And over here it says, Dark Colorado Solar Inc. And then I was thinking, wait a minute, didn't some guy like a couple weeks ago send me some nosy questions about solar panel stuff and he was from a solar power company? Dude, he totally sent me some solar piss. I think it's solar panels. It says glass on it. I'm guessing it's solar panels because it says, hold on. I don't need those. Okay. I need that in there. Okay. Oh, no way! Check it out! Bubble wrap! <laughs> oh, wait. There's other stuff in there, too. Check it out. <laughs> oh, someone sent me solar panels. That's so awesome. How awesome is that? Sorry I'm being so excited, but I'm, I'm a little bit excited. I got solar panels. These are like, there's two of them, too. Check it out. 40 watts each. That's super excellent. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to show you how to like hook them up. Oh wait, there's another thing I just saw come out of here when I was, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Ah, I forgot where I put it. There's a little box. You can't see it here because it's dark and I don't have that many lights on. But anyway, whoa, cool. It's a solar charge regulator. And I can show you how to, that's awesome. Well, that looks like way fancier than mine. I can like show you how to hook up, that up tomorrow too. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna like make a video about all this junk tomorrow. Sweet. Yeah, so like seriously, if you want like free solar panels, all you have to do is like build a giant robot for like several years and a giant workshop and then like start an adventure building club movement and then people send you free solar panels. Yeah, okay, it's probably easier to just buy them. But then you don't get the giant robot. So yesterday I got these solar panels from these guys. Well, these guys over here, solarpanelstore.com. Talk about an awesome present. Anyway, so this is what's on the back of the solar panel, and this is where you connect your wires, you know, for anyone who doesn't know how these work. And uh, don't ever let anyone tell you that you need like an expert to install solar panels because like if you can put batteries in like your electronic devices you can install solar panels oh now if you put your batteries in your electronic equipment backwards and break your electronic equipment you might want to get someone else to do it but if you can handle that you can handle solar panels anyway so back here we've got where you connect your wires and you can ignore this middle part. Um, they come with instructions if you want to do something other than a 12 volt system. But anyway, uh, if you look up here, there's a plus. And if you look over here, there is a minus. So I mean, all, you don't really have to know any electronics. You just have to know that this side is the plus and this side is the minus. And when you connect your wires, you want to connect one over here and one over there. And that one's a minus and that one's a plus. Real complicated, yeah. Okay, and this is the charge controller I got. And I've never used one of these before, so you'll just get to see what happens from scratch. I'm pretty sure this bottom part comes off, so I'm just gonna open it, oh yeah, and look. Okay, and as we can see in here, there is, oh, they have little nice little pictures under these spots where wires can go in. And you stuff a wire in, and then tighten the screw, and it holds the wire and makes a good connection. And here we've got a solar panel picture, and a, a negative so oh look you hook a wire from this to the negative on the solar panel and then over here there's another solar panel with a positive and you hook the wire put a wire in here and run it over to the positive in the solar panel and then there's a battery with a negative here and you hook that to the negative part of the battery and a battery positive over here and it's pretty self-explanatory seriously like a monkey could do it as long as he could read pluses and minuses although even though it's all pretty self-explanatory it's good to get the instructions and go over them real quick just to make sure you don't like hook it up and break something like for instance I saw something when I was just looking at it for a minute earlier it told you what order to connect the wires somewhere in here 
So first you have to connect it to the batteries and then you connect it to the solar panels. And it tells you to hook the positive one, then the negative one. I don't know if that even matters. But anyway, if you, if you follow the little wiring instructions, you'll be sure not to burn your house down or short circuit your batteries and blow stuff up. Now I keep all my batteries behind this here chalkboard, which I'm going to move over here. And as we can see, there's some nice tasty batteries in here. There's like a deep cycle marine battery. I think those three are. And then these other huge batteries were from like backup power for cell phone towers or something. I don't know. They were used before I got them. And so when you look in here, all the batteries have a negative. Oh, you can see right here, there's a negative sign on that one. And then a positive sign over here. So you know when the charge controller tells you to hook up something to the uh, positive end of the battery, yeah, I mean, it just tells you right there. That's that's where you hook it up. And positive is usually red, negative is usually black. I'm sure a lot of people already know that, but it's good to know. Oh, unless of course you're not in North America, then I hear positive is like blue or brown or purple or something. I, I don't know what the other colors are, but in, in North America it's, it's usually black and red. Now I would put this thing under here with all the batteries, but it has a little display that'll tell me the voltage of the batteries, and that'll tell me basically how, how charged they are. And this all gets covered up by my blackboard there, so I'm going to attach this up here. And I already drilled a hole, and this has a little screw hole, so I'm going to attach it right there. Okay, that's secured by one screw, which could... Probably, I should probably put something over here, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because there's no kids going to knock this off other than me, and I'll be careful not to. So, now that I've got that in place, let's see what our instruction says. It says, connect the battery first. Positive to battery, negative to battery, negative. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Oh, and look, I have this little pile of wires that I was using for something else that I removed from. Well, oh, I think that one and that one should be about the right length. It's always good to save these pieces of materials that are removed from things because this could have easily been garbage but now it'll have this wonderful use as some solar panel wiring. There's our little negative battery picture so let me hook up my negative wire there into the thing and tighten it so it doesn't move. Excellent. So here's the plus wire, and I'm going to connect that to my thingy here. And just to confirm that that was in fact the positive, excellent. And now my negative wire to my negative thingy. Okay, great. Now all my batteries are connected in parallel, and in a nutshell that means all the negatives are connected to all the other negatives, and all the positives are connected to all the other positives. So when this wire comes and connects to the positive of this battery, it connects to the positive of all the batteries, so it'll charge them all. Oh, and let's see if this silly readout is doing anything. Ooh, it tells me that my batteries are charged to 12.9 volts. Ooh, I don't know what boost means, but I mean, I'm thinking... Bat V means battery voltage. Oh, and if I push this little button here, it tells me all kinds of stuff. A lot of those are zeros because there's no solar panels connected yet. Okay, next. Connect the negative wire from the solar panel to the solar panel negative terminal. Oh, on the thing. Okay. And I have a solar panel up here already in the sun. And I'm going to go hook up some wires to it. Oh, and it might seem silly to put a solar panel in a window, but I'll put them up on the roof, like, when there's no ice up there. But, you know, for the, for the winter, I'm just going to stick them in the window. As, a, as you can see, there's lots of windows and lots of sun coming in. So here's my wire connected to my negative spot, and it's coming out. And I guess I can hook that right into my negative solar panel thingy here. All right, I'm all out of pre-cut wires. So I need to go to my little roll of wire here. Okay, and there's my positive wire going in there. <coughs> and let's check. If I push the button, it says charge 0.8 amps. That must mean it's working. 
0.7. Oh, there's some clouds out there. I think it'll go up in a minute. So other than that, I mean, there's not much to it. I mean, there, it's working. Um, there are like details you need to know, like this charge controller says on it, it has a 20 amp maximum rating, so you can't put more than 20 amps worth of solar panels through it, or else it'll burn it out. And uh, yeah, I don't know, what else do you need to know? The thicker wires you have, the less energy you lose. Other than that, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Nice. Well, I'm going to go slap this other one up there somewhere. Maybe at this window. And uh, really, I can just run the positive of this to the positive of this solar panel. Because, you know, the positive of that will just go right into the thing. And the positives of both will go. And then I can hook the negative of this to the negative of that. So I don't actually have to have the wires going all the way from over there to the charge controller. You can just go and then piggyback off these wires. Excellent. Nice. Sweet. Okay, I'm about to take off, but before I go, I just had to say that I'm so appreciative to everyone who's been like super supportive of like the stuff I do here and like the Adventure Builders Club. And you know, people people send me stuff once in a while and donate money and it's really, really helpful and it's just super great. Like here, I have more solar panels. That means I'll be able to spend more time uploading videos because on really cloudy weeks, which this isn't obviously, which is awesome. But like when, when a week of clouds comes by, I'll just run out of electricity and I won't be able to, you know, video things because I won't have any uh, enough electricity to spare because I don't want to run out of like lights at night and stuff. But you know, stuff like this really helps a lot and thank you so much.